वेलकम जी लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द क्रिप्टोग्राफी एंड इन द क्रिप्टोग्राफी बेसिकली मेजरली वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द वे वी आर रीडिंग द इनक्रिप्शन एंड डिक्रिप्शन एंड ऑल्सो वी अंडरस्टैंड कि वॉट काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स generally we face which cryptography address those and not only we study about the theory part we also understand how our as a java language help us and provided some api through which we can easily decrypt or encrypt any messages so first let's start about the what is the cryptography if uh, we are going with the word crypto and graphy crypto means look like this is the greek word and you can say crypto means hiding information so major purpose of uh, cryptography is to protect the data or informations or messages so question why we protecting data reason is that kis data or messages generally we are sending from one computer device to another computer device or one machine to another machine one mobile to another mobile so while sending data from one device to another device so while traversing data from a place to b place some hacker or attacker want to read your message so i want no one can read my sending messages or no, no one can modified or change my messages so for sending information which you want that should be secure so this cryptography help us to send messages using some algorithm uh, some digital key concept and this ensure from party a to party b message is traverse properly in the encrypted format so that ki between the uh, party a and party b someone some hacker is trying to read the message if the message is plain text any hacker any one can read those messages but if the message is like encrypted format so the anyone cannot read the message but to here to ensuring that that data is delivered to untampered to the intended sender if a want to send data b b can read message other than b no one can read the message like any hacker one hacker two someone want to read the messages so overall you can see in cryptography help us to sending data from a device to another device data must be secure and no one tampered no one read data during the transformation from a to b and if we talk about what these problems cryptography address so generally whenever uh, I, i as a one user want to send data on the network network and to b party b party so while the networks anyone can read messages if you sending message in the plain text format the so some messages are allow any general message any news a sent to b or anyone can read but some messages some data some file i want sent from a and only b can read so those confident confidentiality confidentiality is required to sending data from a place to b so this cryptography help to solve this issue and also integrity means someone during the transformations cannot modify 
update or change the value change the data which a want to transfer similarly authenticity also is very important i how i am ensuring that b is receiving data from a a is the real person or authorized persons we are sending a data so these basic these three goals which this cryptography help us to easily address confidentiality integrity and authenticity so these three are very key feature of your cryptography while sending data information from a place to b place if you talk about this terminology in the cryptography so generally sometime uh, let's i want uh, send some messages from a to b okay or e company to b company so sometime we say data sometime you can say informations or you can say messages or even you can say document or even you can say file so any kind of data or informations or messages or document or file a party want to send any other party like p c d anyone so overall you can say in these are the different different terminology depend upon the situation and context sometime we are saying ki we are transferring the data sometime we are saying we are transferring informations or messages or document or file or different terminology you can say images video uh, pics anything you can transfer from a to place b and you want to achieve the cryptography that means confidentiality integrity and authenticity then this cryptography help us so cryptography whatever the informations or message you are trans sending from a to b are receiving from a to b so generally cryptography categorize in the two terminology any data can be plain text that is known as a clear text and second terminology is the cipher text that is also known as a cryptogram so let's understand what is the meaning of clear text and what is the meaning of cryptogram so clear text that means plain text or clear text the message is in natural format so that anyone can read or you can say readable to the attacker or anyone between the sender and the receiver this message can be read easily because this is the same format which a want to read and b want to read any part of it so those messages known as a clear text or plain text second terminology known as a cryptogram that means sometimes a cipher text data or cryptograph this means the data a message which is unreadable format so we are sending data we are sending data but data is not a plain text so that anyone can read but unreadable format so that attacker or anyone cannot read if a want to send this messages and b want to receive this messages to so between that any attacker or any party want to read this messages they cannot read but readable by only the intended recipient if a want to send only b so b have a capability to read this message if you can transfer the message and that is the unreadable so how b can read and what is the benefit of b so there are a technique through which a b party is able to read and a party can send and other than a and b no other one can able to read it this is the main purpose of your cryptogram or cipher text or the converted format data you can say so let's understand what do you mean by here encryption and decryption the major uh, words about the encryption means converting the message from plain text to cipher text 
whenever we have a plain readable message here is the readable message whenever you convert readable message to unreadable message this is process this way known as a encryption encryption means you have a one message text message plain message you want to convert somehow to another format you can say that is the cipher text so that that is unreadable okay and next terminology known as a decryption decryption just reverse now uh, we have a uh, convert message from cipher text to the plain text now sender send this in unreadable message unreadable message now party b are able to convert into the plain text so that the plain text can be readable so encryption means Converting your raw message, readable message to unreadable format. Decryption is again converting unreadable messages to the your readable message or plain text. So here is the basic concept about the cryptography. Let's we talk how these things encryptions and decryptions we as a Java developer can do. So all this. Uh, cryptography come under the package of your java security api and java security api have given one framework known as jca java cryptography architecture so in jca frameworks java as a language provided some inbuilt operations or methods for you like you want to describe encryption something you want to maybe decryptions you want to maybe digital signature you want to maybe message digest lots of things you can do for those java security api uh, jca the frameworks offer this easily inbuilt api method for us just we are going to learn how we can leverage those api what is the syntax implementing how we can use it and even uh, there are some key and algorithm parameters while converting your plain text to the cipher text we need some kind of algorithm and some kind of a key store and certificate that ensure the higher level of obstructions so these are the different uh, you can say huge list of uh, key uh, points this jca java cryptography architectures as a framework offer us so we are not going to deep dive all in each and every methods or the this framework jca provided but basically encryption decryption uh, the major things uh, which i just show you so that you are familiar how we can use this jca frameworks and whenever you need to more details you can explore the other api method as well as so basically there are three uh, things we are going to discuss in deep one about this uh, methods of cryptography first methods are wave summation symmetric cryptography then asymmetric cryptography then hash function cryptography so generally cryptography means converting and deconverting messages from a format to b this is we are going to study three different methods one is the symmetric cryptography asymmetric and third one is hash function so let's look what do you mean by symmetric encryptions and decryptions so this is the basic diagrams now the party a or client a want send message to client b so a have a some plain text which human readable if they directly send to the here no because they want this my data is very secret i want to secure transfer so we use the java secure api so we have to use the concept of cryptography encryptions and decryptions so what say ki whatever the plain text first i am going to apply some kind of algorithms to converting my input plain text to cipher text so we have a plain text we have to apply the encryption algorithms 
and that convert our input to the cipher text and cipher text now your b party receive and b party have some kind of concept about the decryptions which again apply on the cipher text and again get your plain text which b can read it so this uh, conversion from encryptions and decryptions we need apply some kind of a key some algorithms so those key are the same shared key so you can say we have to apply one shared key the same shared key used by your sender party to encrypt message and same keys are used by your receiver party to decrypt message uh, again convert from decrypt to tell uh, plain text so for encryption mean converting plain text to cipher one key used by the sender party and receiver party also use converting message decryption to plain text again using the same key this concept is in the same key known as a symmetric symmetric means key. we are going to use same key for encryption same key for description so let's instead of theory let's i'm going to demonstrate the code so that you feel familiar how we can generate code how to encrypt and how to decrypt so first this complete uh, symmetric uh, uh, encryption decryptions perform these following steps first we are going to generate one symmetric key and making more robustness uh, we are also initializing one ib vector initialized vector and after that we are using the java api like a uh, encrypt message we are just pa passing plain text and your key whatever the symmetric key plus ib and this give me the encrypted message and the receiver side again you want to decrypt the message same cipher text and the same key symmetric key you are going to pass here and again back we convert the plain text so this is the steps first we generate symmetric key second we generate initial initialized vector and third passing the plain text with this key we are getting the cipher text from and next decryption passing the cipher text we are getting the plain text in the same key so first thing uh, instead of uh, explaining here let's uh, this is the one first steps we have to generate key so let's we have to write one this is the simple code method so first methods we are writing here to generating symmetric key so for generating symmetric key we are using this api java script graphy dot key generator key generator have a one method get instance and here we pass the algorithm advanced enhanced security uh, a different kind of algorithm and even any third party vendor provider you can any kind of a security provider you can configure in the java uh, security uh, configuration parameter and you can mention key which algorithms we are going to use to generate the key and also we can specify if you want like a size of your key byte size you can say what is the key size and simply this key generator class have one method generate key now this is the symmetric key you have so simply you have to use the key generator class just get instance from factory method and this key generator class and method generate key now you have a your generate key method and once we generate the key next steps we are going to generate your initial vector so you can say generate ib parameter so here ib parameter just import ib parameter nothing just one secure random number so you can just byte 16 byte secure random number and initializes this byte and just want to create one secure random number so the combination of this symmetric key plus your ib vector initialize 
help us to make one symmetric key for shared key you can say for the sender and receiver now this is the key part now we have generated key so now let's uh, use the encrypt the message now i want to perform the encryptions so for encryptions just import we use so for encryptions we are going to use class cipher cipher is a one class which is again java x dot crypto cipher so this cipher class have a method like a do final do final you pass your input whatever the input you have and they convert to your cipher text so again how to create the object of cipher class using the again factory method get instance and here you pass the again algorithm which algorithm you are going to use and here we have to set the mode i want to encryption mode and what is the key and what is the iv initialized vector this is secure random number so if we pass this key and secure random number and say i want to encrypt this message this cipher class say you know the do final method and pass your input parameter and they give you the cipher text and similarly you want to decryptions now this is the dips decryptions so for decryptions again just change here you have to use the same instance class get instant method to create the cyber object and similarly here you have to just change the mode here is a mode is the encryptions here you can set mode is the your decryptions and now same parameter your key plus secure number key plus secure number and again same method do final here you here we are passing the plain text here we are passing the cipher text and you are getting again plain text and whatever the plain text you just convert to the string object so that you can able to read it so let's write the main method and run all these methods in a uncomplete flow so this is your main method so what in main method you can first as sequence we generate the your symmetric key how to generate just using the key generator class and method is the generate key they return me your symmetric key similarly we generate the initialized vector random number here we are secure random number just in is rising with the iv parameters and now we are getting the iv value now we have a key available secure number and and after that just example this is a plain text this is the cryptography test message this is the original message now i want convert this message plain message to the encrypted format so i am going to encrypt method encrypt method say give me the plain text what is the key and your secure random number so here say ki this is the encryption your input parameter your secure uh, symmetric key and your random number using the same is say ki encryption i want to set the encryption mode and using the cipher of do final method this is my input and just convert and now you are getting your converted cipher text and similarly uh, you want to just again decrypt So again, you have a input cipher text. Just apply the same symmetric key, same random number, and pass the decrypt method. Decrypt method say that this is the plain text. So if you know the decrypt method, simply we create the cipher object. Again, set the mode like a decrypt mode, and you know the do final method. Pass the input parameter, cipher text, and they return your plain text. And just writing the message. So. let's and run this mm, this code compiling now so here your original message here your original message your text message now we apply encryptions 
pass the same trick in your secure number, you are getting the ciphertext. And this is the ciphertext. And notice this ciphertext is some hexadecimal number, some byte you can say, array byte. They return array byte. And array byte, you can say, this is very hard to understand key what is the meaning. But this, this same message, again, we can convert to the plain text. Now, B party receive this message, encrypted message, they apply the decryption algorithms, same decryption algorithm, by the same symmetry key, same secure para, uh, random number, and they can again receive the same, this is original message. Now we are receiving from this duplicate, from this is ciphertext, we are getting the decrypted method that is a plain text again. Now this is your decrypted method, readable format. So here the key point is that encryptions and decryptions, both methods is required the same symmetry key and your secure parameter. So this is the part of your encryption. So now let's move about the next way to encryption decryption is the asymmetric mode. Asymmetric encryption and decryption. Here only difference is we are not going to use the same key for encryptions and same key for descriptions. Now here you can say key one for encryptions and key two for descriptions. One key for encryptions and one key for decryptions. This is the major differences. Before in symmetric uh, encryption decryptions, we are using the same key, shared key between the sender and between the receiver. But here now A have a one different key, B have a some different key. So different different is the word, the terminology here asymmetric is like a not a shared key, but the public and private key. So let's uh, same steps is same uh, like uh, here uh, a party plain text using the key one encrypt the message and find the ciphertext ciphertext transfer on the networks here transfer on the networks received by the receiver this is the decrypted message they are going to apply your uh, ciphertext and again receive your plain text but to converting this decryption use the different key. This is the public and private key concept. So let's uh, look the code again. Here steps again, step is the same. So instead of generating simply one shared key, here we are going to generate key pair, not the only key, but pair key because one is the public key, one is the private key. So the major differences between symmetric and asymmetric encryption and decryption is key concept. In here, same shared key not used by the sender and receiver. So first we generate pair key and same encrypt message is a plain test and public key. For encrypting message, we are using the public key. Uh, for decrypting message, we are in the private key. So A wants send message to B, the A use the public key to encrypt the message. And again, B uses the private key to decrypt the message. So same key is not used for the both party. So let's look the code. So here, let's first generate your key pair, public and private key. So I am using this one class. So instead of uh, here you are going to use the key to so generating key pair, we are going to use the key pair generator class. And again, use the factory method get instance, provide the algorithm like RSA algorithm, different kind of algorithms. Uh, this is the uh, different, you can say, topics where we can discuss what kind of different algorithm available to generate this key. So here, for example, we generally use RSA, we are using the RSA and just set your uh, key size and use the method 
not generate key generate key pair so now we have a available key pair and this have a public key and private key both have a method and once now going to encryption how to encrypt the message so again same here you are using the cipher class to get instance and need a public key and your input message is standard so first we are going to get the cipher class object using the factory method get instance pass the algorithm rsa and just set the initial value what you want to do from the cipher object i want to encryption mode set encryption mode and set what is the key this is the public key and again invoke the do final method and they pass the plain text and they return you the encrypted message so api is very simple cipher class have a method do final pass your plain input and they convert your plain text to the cipher text using the key so first you have to set the public key and the mode because this cipher class is the both works encryption and decryption the method is the same do final but here just change the mode here encryption mode or decryption decryption mode so next let's uh, how to decrypt the message same here you just need the for decryptions use the private key again create the cipher class object set the decryption mode and set the private key and again do final method and pass the cipher here you are getting the plain result and let's run in the main method Key imported. Sorry. So now here, first generating your uh, RSA key, RSA key pair, and this is a plain text message. And I am going to encrypt method, passing the plain text, and I am saying that this is my public key method. So how to generate the your public key? Just using the algorithm RSA, and just use the method generate key. Very simple. We have to use this API key pair generator. The key pair generator give me the key pair object, and this object have a public key method. Get public key, you are getting the public key method, and encrypt the message. And similarly, you want to decrypt the message, pass the private key method, and they decrypt the message. And here, both encryption and decryptions is in the same class cipher, and have a method do final. But how do final look? You want to encryption or decryption? Just change this mode, initial value, set the encryption mode public key here decryption mode private key so now this is the encryption now decryption and just test this class so now notice it will now you notice this is your original message this is your original message like uh, here same this is cryptographic test messages and now i apply the encryptions and now this is your si encrypted message and now this is the very big rsa like uh, we set the size like here big size and they generate some big messages and but this is the unreadable format anyone between the party a and party b try to understand what is this message very hard to understand anyone but the receiver can decrypt this message and convert again the original message using the private key. So now, while decryptions we pass the private key, the same cipher text. This is the cipher text, and now we are getting the your encrypted message. So this is the uh, major uh, benefit of cryptography. We are sending messages in the encrypted format. That is the junk format, unreadable format 
to other other networks and the receiver which receive this message they can decrypt message because they have a private key and using the private key they convert from this encrypted message to again plain text readable message so encryptions and decryptions very simple way with java help us to implement right and the third mode of the hash function sometime i want to send messages but symmetric and asymmetric have a benefit ki you can uh, you can have plain text messages and apply algorithm convert your cipher text and again apply some key algorithm again deconvert your plain text that is the both way means ki bidirectional symmetric asymmetric function work but in the case of hash function hash function is the one way encryptions that means ki whatever you have input just say ki i want to convert a unreadable format okay means cipher text or hash value the this is the only benefit they the output of this hash is a fixed length so let's say i want to depend upon the number of input maybe it's small input or big input or large input if you are using the asymmetric and you are sending the huge file a document at that converting to the decryption that is a very huge byte of your cipher text so this hash function in those case help us hash function say i am converting your input message whatever the input message with a fixed size length so output always would be the fixed length so that is the key benefit this the output means cipher text or hash value is not depend upon the input size input size can be anything output always be in the case of same fixed length size and here any kind of input message so sometime i want but this is the only one way here you can convert your text to the cipher text but you cannot again convert back from cipher to original text so please be remember so these are maybe small like uh, password protection password storing on multiple use cases of this hash function generally, generally uh, in the real application what we are using we are using hash function as well as the symmetric uh, encryption decryptions whenever you want to some again decrypt the value you have to use the symmetric or asymmetric and sometime one way you want you can use the hash function so let's look so how hash function works same let's go to the code again so in hash function allo again need a one kind of for your key to converting i have a in the same like a key pair generator so here we are using the same key pair generator class using the algorithm rsa just generating a key pair and uh, again i am going to generate one digital certificate and using the private key and using the cipher class and just so this is the way we are generating the digital certificate and now using the verify function just here using the again public key and and let's this is the complete code main method
so here what we are doing this is the one plain text message and here we are just generating one key here and one generating the digital signature and digital signature what we are doing we are passing a plain text and your private key this is the plain text plain text and this is their private key so here we are using the my message digest this is the hash function so what kind of hash algorithm we are using the SHA secure hashing algorithms 256 and lots of SHA algorithms here we can this is a separate topics what kind of algorithm you can use for the message digest this was message digest one way of your encryption so whatever your plain text just say ki, I want to digest using this SA 256 algorithms now they give me one hash value and this hash value I can again decrypt using the RSA maybe using the private key so now we have a plain text and converting hash function and this hash function we are again using the uh, same like uh, encryption algorithms so this is the hash function they generate me one way encrypted value this value cannot be decrypted again back to the plain text okay so this is the uh, digital signature and now we have a digital signature that means uh, they returns this your uh, cipher cipher using cipher of your hash here we are passing the hash function hash value and now how how i am going to verify ki this are so for verifying this is the plain text this is digital signature and we have a public key so we can ensure those this public using the public key this value and this value are the same how your plain text this is the digital signature that means ki digital signature have a cipher of your hash function cipher of your hash function and your public key so again using the same message digest here you can say this is the plain text hash function is the very good concept to whatever the key pass always they return the same value so he this is the same algorithm say this is the plain text this is the hash function and whatever the public key you are just uh, you want to public key you again decrypt the message and whatever the digital signature means key, digital signature means here, your encrypted message. Pass encrypted message, you are getting a decrypted method. Now, there is a, just we have to equals, key, whatever the value you receive, and this is the message digest one way, and whatever the method we receive decrypted, both should be the same. That means key, this message is not tampered, not uh, someone intentionally modified, both are the same. If these are the same you can say message successfully transfer from a place to b so has function help us to ensuring whatever you message transfer me using the symmetry key or asymmetry key this help us to those uh, verification using the uh, fixed length size value so these the kind of a uh, three you can say uh, methods we discuss about two encryptions and encryptions or cryptography you can say one about your symmetric using the shared key concept where the same shared key used by the your a party and backup party to encryption and decryptions and use the asymmetric we have a public key and private key to using exchanging messages from a place to b place and both symmetric and asymmetric have a facility by directions means you can convert your input text to the cipher and again back convert to cipher text to your input text and third we understand about the hash function encryptions in hash function encryptions you pass your input you are getting your hash value and this hash value is the fixed length size this is the key benefit and but from here you cannot again convert the same text back so please we know that hash function is a one way direction of encryption you can take input convert using the hash function might be here in the hash function you have to study separate concept of the hash collision hash collision happen and how to read it for that we are using the different different uh, 
algorithms here we just saw 256 are saw different difference algorithms have so that the highest collision can be minimized right so these are the three kind of uh, cryptography functions we study symmetric cryptography asymmetric cryptography and hash functions the generally hash functions use the combination of maybe symmetric plus hash function or asymmetric plus hash function when we want to send large file or document size messages or file from a place to b places okay so these are the things are very encryptions or cryptographic as a complete concept implemented by java security api using a framework like jca java cryptography architecture the frameworks offer the list of inbuilt classes just we as a java developer we have to know this class like a key pair class key generator class cipher class and cipher class have a method like in uh, do final where we have to initialize or encrypt or decrypt anything you want to do so as a java developer this is our responsibility we should aware this api this framework jca so that whenever we need this kind of encryption or cryptography in our application we can easily use and implement this uh, java security api nowadays you saw all and every application wants the communication between a application to a b application must be secure and secure transfer communication is help this api java security api to easily implement it so might be this information to helpful for you please read out this java security api documentation list of i have just covered limited uh, methods and classes which this uh, three concept covers uh, symmetric asymmetric and the highest function but java security api offer huge list of methods and classes for us so we as java developer our responsibility we have to check out all those methods and we should aware so that key in our application in particular situations i want to implement this security concept i want to ensure the communication between a party to b party with the secure this help us so from this note i would like to say thank you for watching this video